We are taking a look back with wedding expert Allison McGill at more than 60 years of iconic brides just to show that the kind of the styles that they set and the styles that endure. Absolutely. One of my favorite topics. We talked about doing this one and it's happening. So I'm so happy. Great way to head into the holidays. So we're going to kick things off with Grace Kelly, who's probably the most iconic bride of all time, referenced by current celebrities like Paris Hilton, Kate Middleton. We'll talk about her. But the interesting thing about Grace Kelly is her dress was not made by a proper fashion designer. It was made by an MGM studio seamstress, Helen Rose, who um, was tasked with creating this dress and gifted by the MGM studio to Grace Kelly for this sort of transition from movie star to princess. And, and they did such a beautiful job on it. They did. It's the long sleeves. It's the lace. It's eternally classic. That wedding was in 1956. Mm -hmm. That dress still looks incredibly fresh. Now, was that is that two pieces of a dress? Was it's it not, a skirt and a bodice? It's, or? it's one dress, but it sort of has a, a almost like a, it looks like a cummerbund across, yes. across the waistline. And when you look at the intricacies of the lace of that dress and the buttons and the high neckline, absolutely incredible. It's a beautiful wardrobe piece. Yeah. And, and you're right, like from the head of wardrobe. Um, okay. Kate Middleton, Kate Middleton really changed things up because everything was so big and floofy before then and everything got streamlined. Everything got streamlined. Again, the Grace Kelly silhouette is there. Mm -hmm. It's the lace, it's the tailored sleeves, but Kate made it her own. She did like a little bit of a V neckline corset bodice, which was very um, indicative of the Alexander McQueen design house. But this dress, again, look at Kate here. She's like 2011 this wedding was, still absolutely on point and fresh today. Okay, now I understand that we don't have the video just yet for Meghan Markle, so let's leave her for a second. Okay. We will come back to that. We will come to Meghan. Another uh, game changer was Carolyn Bissett. Oh, right, and that wedding, again, look at this image. It's from 1996. And we're still seeing dresses like this. The slip dress has never been more popular. The gloves have never been more popular. This dress really paired it back. We talked about game changer. We'd come out of the 80s into the 90s with all these big, voluminous, almost Princess Diana looks. Mm -hmm. And then she appeared on the steps in this iconic photograph with this amazingly minimalist dress that no one had ever seen before. Fantastic. And I didn't realize until I was looking for the pictures for this that she wore gloves. I didn't, I hadn't seen They're the gloves. They're very subtle, aren't yes, they? Yes, very just, subtle. They very much blend in, but I, I, it's still fresh today. I look at this photo, it still takes my breath away. Beautiful. I didn't realize that Mandy Moore's dress was such a game changer. It was because it was a colorful dress. And I picked this one because it was color. It was uh, pink tulle with Swiss dot and lots of ruffles. Uh, she had it by California fashion house Rodarte just uh, really popularized pink and nobody had really done it in a big way. Her veil, her shoes, all her accessories, all pink. And I will say Mandy Moore changed the game too with wedding decor. That's the first time we saw pompous grass and then we saw it everywhere. Every, oh, that's where it started. That's where it started. <laughs> okay, Haley Bieber. Haley Bieber, that is someone who's referenced so much by modern brides from her engagement ring to her dress, which was really sexy and alluring and revealing, but not. Mm -hmm. She really made that trend super popular. And the dress fit her like a glove and she really pioneered the veil, the pie, the, the um, emblazoned uh, messaging on her veil hemline. No one had done that before. Right, because I think we've got another photo of here here and you can really see it because it says on the veil itself, till death do us part. That's right. Okay. Gwen Stefani. Gwen okay. Stefani. Okay, there's two. And and you've got them both, right? Yes. Okay, great. So Gwen's first marriage, when she married Gavin Rossdale, she had a Galliano dress that I think you and I agree was probably the most iconic of all time. I love this dress. It, it was a dip dyed, a tie dye ombre. effect, ombre, incredible. How could she top that? Well, she did when she married Blake Shelton. Totally different gear. She wore a ball gown, Vera Wang, very elegant, very beautiful. And remember, this was right in the midst of COVID. So she was really bringing back glamour to wedding style that was so minimalist last year. Okay, I don't know if we have time for Megan. Do we have Megan's? Okay, and we don't have it. But anyways, that was another one. It was very classic, very tailored. Megan's dress was yes. classic, tailored. She talks about it in the documentary, yeah. which is out now, which is great to see, uh, one of the lighter moments, I say. And her designer actually says she felt so much pressure for perfection. 29 yeah. million people watching this wedding and this dress absolutely set the bar for minimalist bridal style in the modern age. Okay, we'll see what we've got coming up for 2023. Thanks so much, Allison. Thanks, Annette.